In this video tutorial, you're going to learn how to record using Prot. First, you need to click on Prot to open the program. In Prot, you can make digital recordings by using the internal microphone of your computer, or to get the best quality recordings, you should connect an external microphone like the Snowball, or the one that I prefer, the H4N Zoom 4-Track Handy Recorder. Once you have your microphone connected and are ready to record, go to the Objects window in Prot. In the menu bar of the Objects window, click on New and select Record Mono Sound. This will open a dialog box and a recording box with several options. When you make your recording, you can leave the channels and the sampling frequency as they are. You may have to make changes to the input source if you're using an external microphone. In this case, we'll select H4N that's connected to my computer. Down here at the bottom, you can type in the name of the file that you're going to record. When you're ready to record, click Record. Bit, Pit, Bat, Pat. Press Stop when you're done recording and save to the list and close. The file you recorded should appear in the Objects window. Highlight the sound, click View and Edit, and now you'll see the recording you just made. With Prot, you can zoom in closer to your sound if you want. You can select it, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, and you can show all. To make sure that it's the sound that you want, you can click on View and Play. Once you're satisfied with the quality of the recording, you need to save it to your computer. Make sure the file you recorded is highlighted in the objects list. Click on Save and select Save as Wave. A pop-up dialog box will appear. Now name your file whatever you like and save it to a place on your computer where you can find it easily later on. To open the file later, you can click on Open and Read from File. Type the name of the file in the dialog box Click on it and the file will appear in your objects window. There are other shareware software programs that are available and are free to download and use. One of the more popular programs is Audacity, which I prefer to use. Other linguists use CoolEdit or CoolEdit Pro, so you might want to check out those programs as well. 